tea market, the premium tea market is really mature and is really exploding. And uh, the, the good thing about premium teams is that you know, they offer you all sorts of customization options. So this is a screenshot from Wu Teams, and um, if you've ever used a Wu Team, you know that their, their team appearance, team options panel is the pages and pages and pages and pages long, right? So you can customize almost every element on, on the site. You can change the header, you can change the colors and things like that. But for, for, for uh, power designers, for designers who really want more control over the, the, the team, what they will do, they will still have to make uh, customizations in the form of a custom CSS file or put their custom functions into a custom functions.php file. And the reason why you do this is that because you, again, just like a child team, you keep your modifications and customizations separate from the team framework. So that when you need to upgrade the, the, the parent team, the team framework, you your modifications are safe. You know, you don't have to reapply them again. So, and uh, that's another way that team frameworks have evolved. Okay, and the defining uh, feature of team frameworks are hooks, because just like the premium team and uh, the parent teams, they don't want you to, you're not encouraged to go into the call to uh, modify the code in the team framework. You're meant to keep all your customizations separate. So if you wanted to add HTML or a bit of JavaScript into your team, you would have to do it with a hook, right? And so that's a defining feature of a team framework here. Yeah. Okay, now you are asking me, you know, why should I care, right? Some of you are like glazing over and like can't wait for lunch. So um, uh, let me just explain why you should care. We've already explained that the, one of the features is that your customizations are kept separate. So when you upgrade the team, it's less painful for you to um, reapply your customizations. But for bloggers, right, I think that team frameworks really help you to build a better blog, okay? Because uh, you invest in one team framework, but you get multiple styles uh, and features out of it. So, and I'm not just talking about investing um, money, you, because when you when you uh, customize your site, customize your team, you're also investing a lot of time into it. And therefore, if you stick to one team framework, you sort of like um, make more efficient use of that time. So you can custom, uh, it's more cost effective in terms of time and money, and this team frameworks fall into the category of premium teams. So they generally come with a lot more uh, uh, options and team options. So it's point and click to customize um, lots of widget areas, you have child themes and skins also that you can immediately make a different look to your, uh, to your, to your site. And being uh, in the category of premium teams, team frameworks also offer you better support. So like for example, if you um, download Misty Look, you want to go and get support questions and ask like how do I customize this, how do I customize that, the developer is not going to really you know, uh, uh, pay attention to you. We will ask you to go and go to the WordPress forums to post your questions. But with team frameworks, because they're in the realm of premium teams, they usually will provide you support. Like Google Teams has got a support forum and so on. So here's an example of the hybrid team. And in the top, uh, top left, you see the hybrid team framework without any customization. So it looks pretty plain, okay? But it's very well SEO optimized and things like that. But when you apply a child team, you can immediately change the style of the of the site <coughs> completely. <coughs> okay. So um, and then for for businesses as well. Okay. So earlier we were talking about WordPress as a CMS. I believe that team frameworks really make WordPress as a CMS a much more viable option for businesses. Okay. Especially with uh, the new features in WordPress 3.0, with custom taxonomies, custom um, post types, and so on. In fact, you know, I was just involved in a in a in a project where we had to create a, a site with a product database, and so we created a, a custom post type, custom taxonomies for for that site. <coughs> and and again, with uh, the premium team market and the team frameworks available, all you you know you can just um, 
go to any one of these providers, purchase a, a team license, and immediately you will have a very attractive looking site. And you know, it's ready to go in a matter of uh, days rather than weeks. And the cost for your site also is going to be a lot less than if you were to build a WordPress, hire a designer to, to, to build a WordPress team for you from scratch. I would know because I charge like four figures for a custom team. Uh, developers, okay. Team frameworks also help you to be more efficient and uh, work faster, okay, when you're creating teams. So, as an example, Woo Teams and Studio Press, they have adopted internally their own team frameworks. So, Woo Teams has got your Woo framework and, and Studio Press has got the Genesis framework. And uh, when they build their, their teams, they, they build it off this team framework that they use internally. Okay, so they share a, a standardized code base, so it's a lot easier for for uh, them to collab collaborate on. Um, and because you know that code base is there, is stable, you know they know they can rely on it. They have APIs which they can use, team hooks which they can use, and also you know um, uh, many team frameworks have a lot of development helpers like body classes, so you can easily override the CSS. Okay, plus. Also, again, you know, you don't have to worry about SEO and semantic code. And as a developer, you know, I feel that uh, it's very beneficial to use the team framework because you can implement options for your client um, without having to go and code all of, the, all of the stuff from scratch. For example, if you want to include an options page or a, or a, or a uh, widget area, you don't have to go and write the code from scratch. You just use the team team APIs and the team functions available. So if you're interested to uh, begin exploring team, team frameworks, okay, or if you want to uh, uh, enjoy the benefits of uh, separating your customizations from your team, okay, so I'm going to explain to you how. First of all, we need to understand you know, the different type of team frameworks and how you customize each of them. So, I've identified sort of like three main uh, types of team frameworks. The first type is the one where it uses a uh, child team. Okay, um, and examples of team frameworks that use this uh, method is uh, thematic and hybrid, and also sandbox, which I've mentioned. So to customize the, the team framework in uh, following this model, you have to create a, a child team, and to upgrade, you replace the parent team, which we also covered. Now, I, but okay, there's one problem with this uh, method that I find because it can get a bit confusing. You have a parent team and a child team, especially to you know, if you're working with SME clients who are not very web savvy. You know, they log into your WordPress, they look at their team options, and like, you know, I paid you for one team. Why do you have this other blank team here? I wonder what happens if I delete the parent team, and then Rosa, you know, the 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 team doesn't work anymore. And the other problem is also that sometimes the parent team adds team options, and then the child team also adds team options. So the client gets confused, like, where do I change the you know, display for this and that? So uh, there's, uh, the second type of team framework are those with what I call an upgradable core. And uh, team frameworks that fall under this category would be WP framework and the Carrington team. Okay? Uh, uh, WP framework is by Patah Danba, and Character team is by um, the Alex King and Co. Uh, uh, what's special about this category of uh, team frameworks is that um, you, to make customizations, they encourage you to edit the team files directly. All the all the special functions of the team is contained within a special core uh, files folder. And so, if you want to upgrade, all you need to do is just replace that core files. Uh, so again, you know, upgrading is simple. You just replace one folder. But I feel that the drawback for this <coughs> method of uh, uh, using a team framework is that your customizations are still all over the place because you know you may go and make a customization in header of PHP, more customization in style of CSS and stuff like that. You can also you can actually have a functions file, but uh, again, then they're just still. Uh, sprinkles all your customizations all over the place. It's not as contained as the child team. 